In today's video, we're going to go ahead and explain how you can create custom scans within Thinkorswim as well as custom patterns. This is going to be catered mostly to the strat combos. If you don't know what the strat is, I will make a video in the future explaining uh, more in depth exactly what the strat is, what one, two, and three candles mean, and how exactly you play the strat. This is going to be within Thinkorswim's software. It's a free software. I highly recommend to anyone who has not tried this software. It can be a little um, intimidating with all the settings and features that it does have, but even if you are a beginner, you can start with a relatively basic setup, and as you get more comfortable with the software, you can dive more into the advanced settings. First, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what strat combos I'm talking about. So, I'm teaching you how to create these scanners for these exact combos. And you can see uh, there's lots of different combinations. We have 212 bearish and bullish reversals, uh, 322 bearish bullish reversal. Essentially, there's a bullish and a bearish combination for each um, one of these combos. So um, one of the main ones that I like to play a lot, you guys always see me telling y'all, oh, this is an inside candle. I'm going to buy calls if it breaks above the high. And the reason I'm saying this is that's because this is how you plan it, right? Whether it's a two candle or a three candle, right? The current candle, so say it's a Monday night and I'm doing my scans for the next day. So I'm scanning a daily candle scan for inside candles. So it's going to go ahead and show me all the stocks. So for example, stock XYZ is an inside candle. Maybe it was a two down and then an inside candle. So the third candle in these or whatever the last candle is on all these uh, strat combos is essentially the if this then that scenario for the following day so for example if the next day price breaks above the previous inside candles high then you would enter you would be bullish you would go long whether you're buying shares or buying calls so the entry is clearly stated at the high of the inside candle and the target is the high of the previous two candle and if it breaks underneath the low of the inside candle, our entry is still the same, but it's the low of the inside candle and our target would be the low of the candle before that. So all these are kind of if this, then that combos. Now let's cover how to create your own patterns. You wanna go ahead and make sure you're on the chart tab right here on Thinkorswim. Come over here, click on patterns, then select patterns. You can see there's a candlestick tab. Go ahead and click on that. Then you can see there's a bunch of already predefined candlestick patterns. You can use some of these within your scans, but we're gonna go ahead and create our own. So click on create tab right here. It's gonna go ahead and pop up this pattern editor. And this is really nice to go ahead and visually see what kind of ca a candlestick you are uh, creating. So first we wanna go ahead and click on this plus sign. This is how we add candles to this. Uh, there's different kinds of candles that you can add. Uh, up, down, doji candles, mixed, as well as ascending and descending trends. For this, we're just going to go ahead and use mixed candles. What this number five right here represents, that represents how many of these candlesticks of this specific type are we looking for. We haven't defined anything, uh, so this is just a regular candlestick but we're gonna go ahead and bring this down to one and then now we're gonna add another one do the same thing mixed candle first we're gonna go ahead and work on creating an inside candle so since an inside candle means that price stays within the range of the high and the low of the previous candle we can go ahead and drag this high to the previous high select less than then drag the low to the previous low and select greater you can see visually that this candle stayed within the bounds of the high and low of the previous candle and that's it that's how you create an ins now that we have made a predefined pattern that we can use within the scanner we're going to go ahead and come up to the scan tab right here 
This tab is where you would do all of your scanning within Thinkorswim. You can see I already have one loaded up. This is a double inside. Um, what you're going to want to do is essentially just start from scratch. No filters. You come up to add filter. Come down to study. It's going to pop up a new study filter for you. Click on this ADX crossover drop down and you're going to come down to user defined patterns. Within this user defined patterns, you can then select any of your predefined patterns that you created. Let's go ahead and click on the inside candle. Ignore this message. Don't show again. Now we can go ahead and select the category of what we want to search in. Let's go ahead and try S&P 500. S&P 500 and now scan. It's going to go ahead and show us some results. You can filter these however you like. Um, as you can see, uh, let's go ahead and test one of these out. Let's say CZR. CZR. CZR, if we look, you can see it's actually an inside candle right here. It stayed, stayed within the bounds of the high and the low of the previous candle. So, just like that, you have created your inside candle scanner. You would then come up to here, click on these three lines, and select save. Sorry, you can't see that. Click here, select save scan query. Go ahead and name it, whatever you want to name it. I'm not going to name this because I already have one. And then you select save. And then to get this uh, filter next time, you would then come up here again, load scan query. And this is going to be in your personal folder. You can see I already have a bunch of presets loaded up right here. Um, say, for example, we have a three up here as well. Uh, you have your other filters. And essentially, uh, it gets a little bit more complicated when you are creating these other ones that have more than just one study or candle in there. So as you can see, for example, a three up, and I'll, I'll show you how to create a three candle. But once you have it set up, you notice how I have it saying one bars ago. So this represents not the most recent bar, but the bar before that versus this one right here, the inside candle is the most recent bar to change this right here to make it say one bar ago or however many bars ago you're going to come over here to this edit tab click on this select edit again offset this offset is what tells you how many candles ago so if it's zero it means the current candle if it's one it means one candle away two means two candles ago so uh, depending on what kind of uh, scan or setup you're looking for, you'll have to change this. Another thing, notice over here that these are daily scans. You can do this on any time frame. Literally, all you have to do, select here, say you want to do a weekly scan, come down here, make both of them weeklies, otherwise it's not going to work correctly. Now, it would be the exact same scan, but for a weekly, and you can come over here, save this uh maybe you want to say weekly or whatever right whatever you want to call it um it's as simple as that you use the same uh, setup that you already had now that i've shown you how to create inside candles two up and two down candles as well as outside candles i'm going to go ahead and show you how within thinkorswim you can create a custom scan that specifically searches for possible strat combos so let's go ahead and look at the strat combo sheet again. For this example, I'm going to show you how to create a scan that searches for this possible scenario, which is a two down, one, two up. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Go to add filter, study. We're doing two of these, add a second study. Then right here, we're going to select this drop down, user defined patterns we want a two down select two down go to the second one user defined patterns and we want an inside candle now remember we have to change this offset to one so we're gonna go to the edit tab edit change the offset to one meaning that this is going to search for uh, one candle ago when it is a two down and then this one is the current candle being an inside candle 
Let's go ahead and scan this to see if it works. Uh, there aren't any results in my watch list. Let me go ahead and sh change the watch list. Let's try S&P 500. Let's scan this. We're going to get some results. Uh, Goldman Sachs. Let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to type that in. Now we can see we have a two down, then followed by an inside candle, otherwise known as a one. So our scan actually is working properly. You can go ahead and test uh, multiple stocks just to make sure it's working properly, but it should be working fine after doing just that. So you can go ahead and save this as whatever you want to save it. In this case, it would be a two down, one setup. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to do it. But that's how you do a two down, one uh, strat combo scan. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a more complex one. Uh, it's going to be a bullish PNG. So I'm going to go to my load scan query. I already have it made. Bullish PNG daily. Now you can see what I did is uh, I followed the exact same steps as I made the last one. So it's a custom user defined pattern. And you can see these are all two downs. So a PNG, I'll show you, is a pivot machine gun. This is actually a bearish PMG. Uh, you can think of this as uh, the inverse of that. But essentially, all a PMG is, uh, for example, our bearish PMG just means that it consecutively makes five lower lows. So that's essentially what I made with the scan, something that's searching for that. So we have a two down two down two down two down and you see the offset is decreasing so essentially one two three four five consecutive two down candles and then the current day is an inside candle so let's go ahead and scan this and see what we get waiting for these results okay we have a uh, AGR let's go ahead and look to see what that looks like AGR. This one's a little bit um, harder to see, but essentially you can see one, two, three, four, five, two down candles followed by an inside. So the scan does work. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Let's look at PAGS. This one's a little easier to notice. Again, you can see we have this consecutive uh, at least five. Um, so that's basically the minimum, but it can definitely be more than five consecutive two downs. Um, so we have five two downs in the inside candle, and I'll show you one more just to prove to you that this is actually working. Uh, FWRG. Here we go again, another setup on the daily. We have the five consecutive two downs followed by a one candle. So that's how you make a bullish PMG strat setup. And you can go ahead and do the same thing for all of these predefined or strat combos. So if you want to go ahead and do um, the opposite of what we did earlier, which is a 212 bullish, you can do the 212 bearish. So you're, instead of doing a two down, it would be a two up and then inside candle. You can play it that way. Same thing with the 312 bullish and bearish reversals. Um, that's what's so good about doing it this way is essentially you can just keep using these same um, predefined setup or user defined patterns to create whatever strategy that you want to create. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.